Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, nice to meet you. My name is Alex. Make sure to consider subscribing because we have a lot of fun on this channel. So if any of y'all have noticed, I did not upload a March Favorites. And that's because I literally only had five things that I wanted to mention. And I wanted to combine it with my April Favorites because I thought it would be a much more fun video. So we're just going to get into that today. Make sure to consider subscribing and let's get started i have a bag here full of stuff that we are going to get into some of this stuff is new some of this stuff you've heard me talk about before so try not to be surprised when i mention stuff i mentioned but i'll just get one of them out of the way because i am becoming a broken record at this point i'm telling you um i love this stuff this is the eva nyc main magic 10 in 1 primer i use this every single day i'm almost done this bottle and i already have two empties in my empties bin it's ridiculous i use this more as like a heat protectant because no matter what you should be using a heat protectant on your hair because you go out into the sun and your hair is still frying because it is getting those rays so i use a heat protectant no matter what this is a daily kind of treatment is really nice and i quite enjoy using this Another product from Eva NYC that I actually did mention, I think in February, but I said, oh, I'm not going to mention this in a favorites video because I don't know if I like it. <laughs> and that product is the Eva NYC Satin Dream Leave-In Cream. This is so good. I like using this when I know I'm going to use heat on my hair because it really gives me that blown out effect whenever I blow dry it which I really like I also like this because on days when I'm not feeling like doing my hair or I'm just gonna be lounging around the house I use this and my hair just feels so soft I don't want to say I felt the quality of my hair improve because I definitely haven't I just really like this as an added touch to my hair this is a leave-in conditioner basically it says it detangles smooths and moisturizes I feel like it stays true to the claims because whenever I use this I definitely feel my hair is a lot softer and hydrated so i really like this product i will continue to use it whenever i use this and blow dry my hair i get so many compliments it's unreal i'm just gonna zoom you guys in a little bit more because i felt like you were too far away and i wasn't feeling that next product i want to talk about i'm actually almost done and there's a reason behind that is <laughs> because it's amazing this is the soap and glory heal genius amazing foot cream I love foot cream so much. I started using this when it was very cold out because my feet get so disgustingly dry and I tried so many foot creams. You'll see one in my empties video that I literally used most of and then just like threw it out because it was so bad. But this one, ever since I started using it, my feet just feel insanely soft. I can vouch for the packaging. It is amazing. It is a marvel. It's a Marvel Miraculous Moisturizing Mix. It is. I really like this and it's made in France so it's super high quality. Highly recommend this. I think it was like 12 bucks or something. It's really worth your money. Next product I want to talk about. It's unopened but the, it's because it's a backup. This is the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Oxygenating Deep Clean Mask. I use this pretty much every single week. It is a $12 mask but I think that this is amazing especially if you are looking for a really deep clean of your skin but you don't want to spend too much time doing so. Out of every single Glam Glow mask I would probably say this is the one you need the most because it it's almost like a skin reset. You put this on your face, it bubbles up, gets really foamy, and then you just rub in the foam on your face and then wash it off. I have dry skin and it does give me a little bit of a tight feeling, but I have to say it's nothing that's like super uncomfortable. Once I put a serum over top, I'm good to go. But after I use this in the morning, I can definitely see all my acne that I had under my skin raised to the surface. I am a firm believer that this works because I have been using it for so long and I always see my skin look 10 times better when I use it. So if you are curious what the mask looks like, it just looks like this. It's kind of just like a basic sheet mask. You basically just put it over your face and it's very sticky feeling. I would highly recommend getting like a towel or something to wipe your hands off. You just put it on, smooth it to the contours of your face, let it sit for three to five minutes. Most of the time I keep it on for 10 because it doesn't bubble up quick enough for me. And then that's when I will go to to the bathroom take the mask off my face kind of like rub it around it has a shaving cream consistency which is so weird but i'm t i'm telling you it works i just wash it off after that my skin feels so clean refreshed and i feel good about my skin the next day i think y'all should give this a try even though you like glam glow or not if you have sensitive skin i don't know if i would recommend this i kind of have sensitive skin but it's not too sensitive where there's certain products i can't touch 
um but this is still really good regardless so now that it is summer i've been switching up my fragrances i've mentioned one of my favorites in january was my fifth avenue from elizabeth arden that one is so so good i love it S sometimes i still wear it but one of my favorites right now is the aqua de joya from giorgio romani this one is my favorite i've loved this one for years i don't really know the notes but this one just smells so good for summer it's kind of like a clean laundry like clean laundry and flowers type of smell it's so nice it's definitely a scent that's so unique and i think you should go smell it in store this is just so so nice so recently i switched up my daily cleanser i used to use the cerave hydrating cleanser which i love so good but now that we're getting into spring and it's getting a little bit more humid and warm it's just making my face feel really greasy so i felt like i needed to move something that had more of a gel consistency less than like a cream so right now i am currently using the glam glow gentle bubble daily conditioning cleanser and i really like this it's kind of like a foaming gel cleanser which is kind of weird because i do have dry skin and i don't really like foaming products but this one is really nice because it doesn't strip your skin it just kind of gives that basic clean i feel like this is one of those cleansers that is so basic you are able to incorporate other unique aspects of your skincare routine into it say you have acne but you don't want to use a cleanser that has salicylic acid in it. you just kind of want to spot treat this would be a good cleanser because it won't strip your skin you can use another treatment instead of using a cleanser that's full of salicylic acid i feel like this is a really good product um i also like it because it's good for all the time so if you've watched any of my previous videos like the function of beauty video where i tested out their shampoo and conditioner for a week i am currently using a new shampoo and conditioner i just want to give my final thoughts on function of beauty i don't think they're bad i don't not like their products it's just i think i didn't provide the right information for them to create something that would work for my hair i said i had a normal scalp which i don't i have a very oily scalp so from the get-go i kind of knew it wouldn't work i kind of want to retry it but the price is so expensive that it just doesn't seem worth it to me so when i heard that eva nyc was coming out with a main magic shampoo and conditioner i copped that shit quick honestly let me just tell you this shampoo and conditioner is so good for my hair i really like it i know a lot of hairdressers are going to be like what are you talking about that's really bad for your hair but i really like it because it is good for my oily scalp but is also conditioning for the rest of my hair it says it's for normal to dry hair types but i find that it does keep my oils at bay which is something that i really like i also find that this is super conditioning to my hair i really like how it makes my hair feel and i never ever get knots i also find that my hair just looks better whenever i straighten it or if i leave it natural it just looks really good meanwhile when i was using the function of beauty one i just didn't find that held true my hair kind of didn't look great all the time but with this one i really like it i'm gonna jinx it like i'm gonna say oh my god i love this one so much and then like in two weeks i'm gonna be like i hate this i'm gonna finish up with the hair then i'm gonna get on to um some makeup products and a skincare product so the one i have been on the hunt for some dry shampoo because i bought one that was normally 27.99 for nine dollars and i just i don't like it it leaves a white cast all over my black hair so i needed something that had a little bit of a tint and my friend recommended the batiste divine dark dry shampoo and i really like this i think it's good it keeps my oils at bay it gives me the ability to make my hair last another day because i have to wash my hair constantly because it gets super oily and it gives a little bit of a root touch up the only thing i absolutely hate about this is when i have this in and i go to like scratch my head or like run my hand through my hair my nails kind out looking like i shoved them up a dirty asshole it's so gross but it works so i don't care okay last thing for skincare i want to talk about this briefly because it is a product i never thought i would really like and it's the inky list alpha hydroxy acid this i think it's like just pure alpha hydroxy acid if you don't know what aha is it's basically an exfoliator and i use this purely for spot treatments whenever i have acne breakouts i put this on over top go to bed wake up in the morning and it's risen to the surface and ready to pop um, and if i leave it on again another night 
they're gone by the morning. It's an amazing product. I didn't think I would like it. I kind of picked it up at work when we had a fill your bag for $10 type thing. And I didn't think much of it. I was like, oh, AHA, that sounds good. I'll try it. And then when I opened it, I was so surprised. I really like this product. I think it's worth it if you are looking for something that is a little bit cheaper, but kind of does the same thing as high end. But I really like this. I'll be continuing to use it. Um, and if anything happens, I'll let you guys know in another video. So lately I've been so into minimal makeup. It's probably my favorite thing to do right now. I don't really like wearing foundation and concealer that much unless I'm going to like an event or something or a meet and greet. See my last video for a tutorial. <laughs> um, but I've been so into minimal makeup and to help that I've ordered a bunch of glossy. I've ordered their primary moisturizers, their cloud paints, which I really like, but I'm not going to mention in this video because I haven't used them enough. Their skin tint and their stretch concealer is something I use pretty much every single day. I love the coverage that this gives me, even though it literally has no coverage. Um, and I really like the concealer because it does a little bit of brightening while concealing a tiny bit. I don't like layering a bunch of makeup on my face because I know I don't need it. So this gives me the absolute lightest coverage ever without compromising my skin, which I really, really enjoy. I like the consistency of this and I like the consistency of the concealer. I also like how it kind of puts me outside my comfort zone because I never ever set my face when I use these. And then last for makeup and last for this video actually are my Clarence Natural Light Lip Perfectors. I love these. I'm actually wearing the purple one right now. If you watched my last video, you would know. Um, but this one right here, it's in the shade 06. I think it's in the shade Rosewood. I think that's what it's called. This one is my natural lip color like the one that I wear pretty much every day. This has a little slight tint of like a brown. It gives me that really nice natural lip gloss look. This lip gloss has kind of like a jelly finish, if that makes sense. When it, you look at it on the lips, it looks super comfortable. Kind of just looks like lip balm, but with like a little bit of jelly to it. I don't know if that makes any sense. If anyone gets me, you know, they're very comfortable. They kind of just don't feel like anything on the lips. Your lips just feel super moisturized. And that's something I really like because like I said, I've been liking minimal makeup and this is a way that I can achieve this. I think they have like eight or seven shades, but I just have these two and I think that these are the only two that I really need. But these are really, really good, especially if you're looking for a more minimal makeup look. Okay, this is like a novelty thing and I really wasn't gonna mention it until I just looked at it, but this is a favorite of mine. This is the Xyron Create a Sticker Mini. If you know I have an Erin Condren Life Planner, I use this all the time to print off pictures and make stickers and put in my planner. This is so handy, I love this so much. But that is everything I had to show you in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to let me know by clicking the like button down below. Make sure to subscribe before you leave so you can keep up on my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in my next video.